Hello and welcome to a very handsome edition of Start Select. I'm Seb Ford, today is Wednesday, and here's what's coming up. PopCap acquires new zombie overlords. And Ken Levine, creator of Bioshock, tells the Wii U to go jump in the sea. Hello there. Now, unless you perforated both eardrums and decided this summer twin eye patches were in, you'll have heard the rumours of EA being in negotiations to buy PopCap, makers of Plants vs Zombies, Peggle and Smash Hit Bejeweled. With these rumours today being confirmed, clearly EA found the decision to buy Plants vs Zombies developer a no-brainer. No-brainer. Ah. Oh, forget it. In a statement, EA announced their hopes to close a deal by the end of August that would see PopCap sold for $650 million. On top of that sum, they're going to fork over $100 million worth of stock and a reported $50 million in employee retention awards. So all in all, EA are shelling out about $800 million for one single company. It's impressive, but does raise a couple of key questions. Firstly, what will happen to PopCap's newly created indie label, Forth and Battery, makers of gory pony pulverizer Unpleasant Horse? <laughs> Secondly, when exactly are EA planning to make this much money back? Sure, PopCap are successful, but $800 million successful. That's about 400 million iPhone downloads of Plants vs Zombies, if you're wondering. Yay for maths! You remember E3, right? Well, what you may not have heard is that a little-known publisher developer called Nintendo announced a new console at its press conference, successor to the Wii, the Wii U. Regardless of what you may or may not have heard about the device, there are already developers brushing it off the good ship right now into the murky waters of maybe in the future, namely Bioshock developer Ken Levine. What did you do? In an interview with IGN earlier this week, Levine said, I'm not saying it can't happen, but we have no plans to do any games for that platform. There are things about it that, as a core gamer, really appeal to me. <laughs> Sounds like a definite maybe. A rare thing in the industry these days. It's the win! It's the win! Still, it's encouraging to hear that, in his opinion, it's a great year for the core coming back. He feels publishers are returning their attention to the gaming faithful, giving them more support on top of the casual market-friendly stuff. He went on to add he eagerly awaits a time where you can play full-on hardcore games in bed with the lights out while your wife's asleep. I like that a lot. So Levine may have some very, very interesting things to say about the games industry. But what do you think? Is Ken unfairly dismissing the Wii U? Are you looking forward to Bioshock Vita? Just how perverted was that last answer? Let us know on Twitter at GameSpot UK, on Facebook, or of course the Start Select homepage. That's it from me for now, but we'll be back tomorrow with more of the good stuff. I'm off to play some full on hardcore games in bed with the lights out while your wife.